You guys, there's this TikTok I made like a few days ago or something. It has 11.5k views. That's so much. It has 992 likes. This is the video. <laughs> Gucci tennis shoes running from your issues. <laughs> hey, my little fishies, what is up? It's me, it's Anna, and today I have a new video for you guys. Today I'm here with one of my friends. Hi, my name is Astrid. And today we're gonna be filming a Get Ready With Me. So we have our makeup here, we also have some snacks, we have some chocolates, some candy. We also have chips, but they're in the drawer thingy. And we also have some notes on things we want to talk about. So, I hope you guys are ready. <sighs> because we are not. No, we are. <laughs> we sure <laughs> are not. <laughs> <clears throat> so, let's, let's, be, let's begin with the, the get, get ready with us thing. Oh, get ready with us. Spicing it up. Now. Yeah, we're with the two of us, so it's not only. Yeah, okay, fair, fair. I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer. I'm gonna start off with my primer. My cheapest primer from the Action. It's blue, and I don't even know what it does. But whatever. It's fine. Yeah, my moisturizer is my primer. Mine is for, from Dia Dermine. <laughs> nice little one. Uh, French thing or something, I don't know. Mine is from Max and More. The cheap. If you're stuff. Dutch, you know where it's from. <laughs> it's cheap. It's cheap as frick. Okay, so let's talk about the first topic, shall we? Well, what we're gonna start with? Well, we have a lot of things. Yeah, we do. We have high school, how we met, bullion company, the company you wanted to talk about, yes. products we use. Our foreign internship and our education. Well, what you want to start off first? What's the thing you want to talk about first? I don't. Oh, let's start about with. Let's start with how we met. I think that's a good thing to start this video. With. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we went to the same high school. Um, Sucky high school. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Hated it. Well, I met a lot of cool people, so I'm not gonna say it's horrible, but. I mean, don't we all hate high school? Isn't that um, a universal thing or something? But um, anyway, we met the first time in a reading competition. We all had to participate in that year. And uh, <laughs> so we met there. It was the first time we really talked and stuff, but we didn't really get off to a friendship or anything. No. We so... were just like, hi, good luck with the competition. Uh, yeah, you went oh, really you well. well. <laughs> Break yeah, a leg! You know, <laughs> the basic uh, stuff and shit. I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Polis Foundation in shade 105. Natural Ivory. I'm, I'm a true YouTuber, you know that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my Tarte Foundation and Concealer since my Tarte Foundation is way too dark for me. So that sucks. So I have to mix those two. Yeah, I stip it on. Which is not really hygienic, but mm. no one else uses it, it's just me. Nobody cares. So, if I don't care, no one else <laughs> should. Okay, so, but then, like a few, I think it was two years, was it one or two years later? Um, I think it was two. Yeah, yeah it was. Um, I, I can't remember how the third, third year, year went. But yeah, it was in the th in the third year. It was like the we in the last few weeks of the second year. We had to choose um, the course courses. Yeah, the course you wanted to go with. Yeah, the courses you wanted to go with, and you had to choose like um, some lessons you wanted to follow. Like for instance, uh, like you could follow like drawing thing, uh, like drawing Art. arts. Um, 
yeah, it was just a lot of diff different things you could choose. And I chose to do um, a language course. It was French I chose because I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I love French. I still do, but I can't speak any French at all. So... Bonjour, comment ça va aujourd'hui? And I, I only can say bonjour, au revoir, croissant, and uh, oui, oui, a tout petit pain, non, non, petit pain. oui, um, uh, baguette, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I used to be really good at French. Oh, me too. I, I, I got lost A's. it. I fucking lost it. I got A's like all the time. Me too. So, and I didn't even do anything for it. Like, so I, I was surprised. I was that good you know yeah me too <laughs> but i completely lost it now uh, i gotta go right back to year one of high school to revamp it but um same. yeah well that was the year we got in um, the same class english we got in right no in no, no no we first met in french with the first two lessons or something i switched classes to dutch but like german <laughs> german oh, i'm sorry <laughs> to german <clears throat> my bad um, like I went to to German because like I didn't know anyone in a class and for the first two lessons I had in French I sat right ne my English is so bad I sat right next to them and we talked a little bit and then we stopped because we didn't go to the same class anymore yeah that's how it went so it was a little brief moment we went uh, together but um in the f uh, so that was that and sometimes well she had a friend um and i had a friend and they were friends together so we sometimes stood with each other in um the canteen or in the hallways and stuff but um in the fourth year it was when we really kicked it off yeah because we had english together and we were assigned <laughs> seats so we <laughs> sat so together <laughs> and there was another friend of ours and we had major fun even though we sat at the front with the teacher who was seemingly in love with me or something i hate to say that but she was kind of creepy though yeah uh, i don't really have a great memory with her i mean she was, was nice she was really nice but she was just weird yeah she was very she was strange so weird but that was when we really kicked it off and started to become friends and we went to prom together yeah i still have the picture on my instagram Oh, you do? I do. I, I I lost it and I was so devastated. I was like, no, because I love the picture so much. I like, can, it's such a good picture. I can send it to you oh, if please. you want. And then you can please insert do. it here. Please do, please do. I want to, I want to, I want to show them. <laughs> but, but, wait, I'm using my Revolution uh, Conceal and Define in shade C1. The lightest shade i'm still putting on my it, foundation <laughs> well it, this was the lightest shade in um shit. Yeah. sorry uh, i hate my english don't judge me please oh it's, come on your english is so much better than mine mine but sucks. i hate that i have this stupid ass accent it sounds like i'm trying too hard but i'm not you know that i love those accents i know like that's you went on on about it yesterday so oh my god <laughs> oh wait 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 but <laughs> the prom picture yeah we went to prom together and we were just hanging out um at school a lot and yeah so but yeah. the thing was i was friends with um uh, other people like um i had a few other friends like they were not in the same classes with me but i was uh, like really good friends with them i considered them one of my best friends but they didn't consider me one of their best friends so <laughs> that was so great but i always sat next to them uh, like with the breaks and stuff um, but then, um, like, one of my friends met, like, um, another girl. She was really nice, but, um, they met before, so they were, like, uh, talking and hanging out, like, a lot. And they kind of left me, like, out of the group. So, I was kind of alone. Like, yeah, I horrible alone. That. It was horrible. And I... So yeah, you yeah, came I to came us to them. Uh, a lot more. We yeah. invited you over to our table and... Yeah, I yeah. always felt so bad because they were so nice and they were like, yeah, you can come sit with us, it's okay, you can stay here. And I was like, no, but they also have a break and I want to hang with them because if I don't, like, they won't be friends with me anymore. I was... It was a really torn up situation because you really loved them as your friends, but, but they, they weren't um, giving you the attention that you deserved. Yeah. So 
we saw we noticed it because we went along with you um, a lot more often as opposed to uh, the year before and well it was just a nice invite and I totally understood your um, confusion as to what you should do yeah. because you really love them but uh, so you didn't want to leave them you didn't want them to feel bad for leaving to go to sit at another table because you know this is basic as high school drama <laughs> what table to sit at but I really understood it but I'm just glad you eventually made your own choice and you didn't want to stand alone all yeah. the time so like I don't came okay, sit with us yeah but also like those friends I don't talk with them anymore like um last year um I finished uh, I finished my school like um a year earlier uh, Jesus <laughs> a year early earlier than they did and um yeah because they had to redo a year right yeah they yes. uh, yeah they had to redo a year and i was so i had done my exams and stuff and i was done so i went to another school um that also really sucked because i still consider them as one of as my friends but after like some time like they didn't talk to me and they wanted me to keep up the contact they wanted me to keep talking to them like they were like, yeah, when you leave, like we d we still want to hang out with you, blah blah blah. But um, I, I don't want it to come only from our side. It has also to come from your side. So, so all the drama stuff. Uh, by the way, I used the W seven set it up um, finishing powder thingy to set my face. <laughs> <Thingy>. <laughs> gotta gotta keep that going, you know. <laughs> to make it less powdery, I'm using the Revolution makeup high high. Hy Hyaluronic fix. That that's the name. Got it. Oh, it <laughs> oh. oh god. I had to make it a little less powdery, you know. So I ain't settled in. I don't do But yeah, uh, um, they promised you to go. So uh, they they prom, came yeah. to. Okay, so here's a funny yeah. story. Like I'm still mad about that <laughs> till this day. I'm so mad. Okay, so. When I had our, when we had our prom, um, I was like, you know, you what, you know what, guys, I'm gonna fix. Like, you can come with me. Like, if you give me some money for the tickets, like, I can buy you tickets and you can come with me. It's fine. I want you to be there. It's gonna be fine. Like, you can come with me. It's totally okay. Like, they're fine with it. It's it's gonna be great. So I did everything I could to get them to go to prom with me. Like, I did so much. And then they said, yeah, yeah, you can come to our prom when we have our prom next year. It's going to be fine. Like, we can figure something out. So, uh, they came to our prom. I still have, like, clips of it. It's, it, I have a, a little bit of it. It's fine. I still have clips of it. Um, we went with the fire truck, so that's really cool. Um, We had a huge ass gang, you know. We were with Dang. such a large group. It and was not even horrible. every one of our, um, at least not even every one of my friends, uh, were in that picture because um, not everyone cool. went, or they were inside, or they yeah. didn't go with us. We like, had a huge group, like, like fourteen people. Maybe, yeah, maybe we had even more. We had such a big group. It was um, it was amazing. We were also the only one to dance at our prom. So yeah. But okay. Oh my god. Oh, we were the only ones. Um, it what's so it called? Cool. Uh, Macarena. Yeah, we, we were like, like we were like yeah. going all at it, and everyone was just like, "What the hell are they doing?" Yeah, we had the best time. We had pizza. Yeah, like this. Okay, so they said like, "Yeah, we're gonna have snacks and thing. It's gonna be so much fun." So we came there. Like, they're gonna there's gonna be pizza. There's gonna be like fries or something. Like, there's gonna be so much food. No. All they had was chips. Just some um, cheese. Um, some some sausage. sausage. You know the classic Dutch yeah, the, snacks and stuff. I will put like a picture in it. Like the classic Dutch party thing they had there. Like we were like, but th this is not what you told us we were gonna have. So we went outside and we ordered pizza for ourselves. <laughs> so yeah, we had our prom. It was great. We had such a great time. And then I um, graduated. We got our diploma and things like um, 
we we went to different schools like that's the thing like we go to different schools and it's because we can't hang out anymore because our hours are so different and it sucks yeah, because we go to college and they go to high school we have yeah really different lives right now so annoying but um yeah they promised to take me to their prom and then their prom like roll the time they had their prom like came around it was like so then and then there's our wait no they even didn't tell me when their prom was okay so they had their and they did their exams and i was like i still haven't heard anything about prom like what's going on so i sent one of them a message like hey yeah, um when do you know do you know when prom is like is it do you even have prom this year like what are the plans? Am I coming with you? And they said, yeah, promise then. And then. I don't know the dates anymore. Promise then. And I was like, okay, like, how expensive are the tickets? Like, what do I need to pay? Oh, we already have tickets. The tickets already sold. You can come. Gonna love them, you know? I, I was it. so pissed off. I was so, so, so angry. I don't, I was so angry, I didn't even like, I, I was so angry, I didn't even like, I talk, I didn't even talk to them for two weeks after that, I think. I was so incredibly angry, I was like, okay, screw you, you screwed me over. I did everything in my power to get you to our prom. Like, you weren't even supposed to be at our prom, like, it was so hard to get you to our prom because we weren't allowed, we weren't we're allowed we? um, to bring one companion yeah. and um I there were three girls coming with us um who didn't who weren't in no, our no, year two, two, two. Oh, no. then two girls so we had to get tickets so they both could come but um since they were only really friends with sonas she had to fix it so yeah. I had it to was, ask one of uh, it was a whole big deal. Yeah, I had to wa ask one uh, one girl I saw. I didn't talk to her a lot, so I felt so bad for asking her. But she was friends with you guys, and I had to ask her to buy a ticket because she still hadn't she hadn't bought a ticket yet. So I was like, okay, um, here I have money. Can you please please buy two tickets for me? So she did, and I was so thankful for her. And then. And they didn't invite me to their prom. I was so incredibly mad. Yeah, but it was also it wasn't just that because they were also already drifting away from us. They they yeah. weren't really paying attention to her anymore like they did before. So this they was weren't... the last trial for Sonna. So yeah. I completely understand the madness because if if you're uh, if it was just that it was like well that's kind yeah. of an overreaction you know it was, but it was, it was fine i really think it was <sighs> that was the, the like reaction. the last drop in the bucket to say it like that like they screwed me over so many times like um i was <sighs> wait also i'm using the catrice cosmetics slimatic ultra brow pencil <laughs> Gotta keep that going, you know. <laughs> we had it in our notes saying yeah. what products we use, so I'm saying it every time. Yeah, but oh my god, I was like, that was the last drop in the bucket. Like, after that, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna cut off all of my. I'm just gonna cut off her contact. Like, I didn't talk to them, like, after that anymore. I still haven't talked to them. I saw one girl. And um, we didn't have a fight or something, but we just drifted apart because she had, uh, she went to a different school. She had other friends and stuff, but we were really great friends. Um, but she also was like in a different class and stuff. And yeah, we just drifted apart. But the other two, like, we just had a huge fight, and it was, it was done for me. I was so mad at them. And like, with the help of one of my friends now, um, she said, you know what? You're, they're just bad for you. You have to cut them out of your life. So, I did, and it was so hard. Yeah, because you really loved them a lot. I, but you were, um, at first you were just waiting until um, they reply to you again, until they reached out to you. But they never yeah. did. Or maybe one time or something. No, but they didn't. They never yeah, contacted okay, then, me. Yeah. Never. Ne I was always the one like, yeah, you know, we should hang out and stuff. Like, we haven't talked a lot. We haven't talked in a while. Like, we should hang out. But then they said, yeah, we should. And we, I tried to make plans. And they were like, I don't know. I have to see when. I have this. I have this. I have this. I can't. Blah, 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 blah. And then 
just never happened. So it's like, do you want a waffle, by the way? Yeah, so we actually drifted it off about what we were talking about. We were talking about how we met, and then we just... Yeah, oh, okay. but we also, <laughs> we also just, like, slid in our next topic. We, we also wanted to talk about our high school experience and our friends. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. Okay, um... It's dry, but it's fine. It is, but... The taste is alright. Huh. My personal experience in high school was, um... Pretty I. <laughs> I it's I, you know. What's up, fam? It's, it's pretty I, pretty tight. Wish I could say that. Um, but yeah, I may. Well, I was really shy because um, we're going to talk about that as well. I've been bullied for nine years in my life. I've been bullied my entire elementary um, school, and I've been bullied in the second year of high school. So, um. Yeah, well, f uh, furthermore, I was really shy, but when I get to got to high school, I tried to talk with new people because there was only this one guy from my elementary school that also went to this high school, so I just had him, but I didn't want to rely on him, so I just went to a girl who I saw was in my class, I saw her sit alone. So I went up to her and talked to her and then we had, um, well, it kicked off the friendship and then we had school picks and I met, um, I saw another girl sitting alone. <sighs> I hate it! I hate it! <laughs> but um, I went to her and then we became friends like with the uh, three of us and in the second year the first girl went to another school and I made a lot of friends during that year. I and um well second year was probably well even though i got bullied that year it was my favorite year especially the end because we went to uh work week in <gasps> germany i love oh, that was so, so great much. i loved it so much and well i'm uh, i met my boyfriend there so what's good <laughs> he's my boyfriend now but he wasn't back then it took um, some time for them to get together. Some time! <laughs> some years! Oh you my mean? god! Four <laughs> years or something? Yeah, it was um it was a roller coaster that whole story, so not going to go in depth um I wanted to tell that. that what mascara this is, but I can't read it anymore, so I don't know. It's, it's from Essence. Is it I from know, Essence? I know it's from Essence. It's from Essence. It's good. Okay. But so, um <laughs> Yeah, I uh well Work week was my favorite experience of all time. We went to Germany, and we were just uh, we were there for a week in uh, the town Trad Trabach. It was. You still remember it? I still remember it. I don't. It was called Trad Trabach, and it was. I I'm not a fan of Germany at all uh, usually. Me neither. But yeah. Trad Trabach was so pretty. Was so I incredible. really liked it and. You I had so much fun, and I uh, I met that uh, I met my boyfriend there uh, in the bus. Um, I was uh, a crazy person, but <laughs> I still am. So, um, but not gonna argue with that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you are too. So I know, I know. Yeah. There was one thing like me and um, our uh, friend, like we cracked, cracked, we cracked up about it. Like still to this day, it was so funny. That's how. Oh my god, the brush hair story! So incredible! <laughs> okay, so let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay, so the, on the, the, the thing where we were, we where we stayed, was it, how did we... Was it in a hotel? A youth hostel. Youth, youth, uh, Jesus, <laughs> it was a youth hostel. So, there also was another school. So... A German school. Yeah, German school. <laughs> so there was this girl sitting in her window. Um, she had the curtains open, so we sh she was sitting in the window, so we could like look to her, and she was like brushing her yes, hair, yes. <laughs> and she was brushing her hair, and then she talked, but we couldn't hear anything. So all we saw was, <laughs> we died of laughter. We, oh my god, you had to see. Like if we explain it now, it's not funny, but we, God, it was so funny. Like we both saw it. We looked at each other, and we like. <laughs> we laughed so hard. People were like looking at us like, what the hell is happening here? Mm -hmm. 
then we had year three. I got into a new class, met, um, met some new people, got around with new friends. And year four, especially the end, was when I got to hang out with a lot of new people. And we went to them with promise and stuff. But I'm still so surprised. I'm still friends with most of my high school uh, friends uh, who I ha hung out with yeah, I'm not. back then. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so surprised. Man. You know, I'm gonna pull up the prom picture. <gasps> Please do. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to count with how many people we were. One. Sixteen! And there wasn't everyone in the picture. I know! We were- Sixteen. Six, oh my god! Please send it to me, I want to include it. Yeah, I'm gonna there. screen it. So, okay. Sixteen people. And I'm still friends with most of them. I'm still so surprised. Even- I even got to be friends with people I never hung out with in high school, but were at my high school. And I'm friends with them now. So it's really- it's a roller coaster, but I'm I met the greatest people in my high school, and I'm really I see the high school as a great experience. I got to develop myself. I learned more about who I was, but especially in college, I became more who I am, even more. I mean, it's uh, my look, look at her now. It's from my look. <laughs> but yeah, no, I. I personally didn't really mind high school, but I did get bullied in the second year. But we'll go back to the bullying uh, later on. I have some great stories about that. My high school experience was so great. I loved it. I loved high school. Please send me back. Those were such good times. Totally not sarcastic or anything. No, so serious. No, high school was hell for me. I got bullied in high school the four years I was at that school. Like the full four years. I even got bullied on my... Is it primary school? Yeah, elementary, primary. Yeah, okay, so I... It works different here, so I don't yeah, really... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the bullying like later. But high school sucked for me. I didn't have any friends. Like, seriously. They're, okay, so in the first two years, I was friend, friends with one girl. Um, like, I uh, hung out with her, like, sometimes, like, not a lot. Um, she had a twin brother. Uh, they they all thought I had a crush on him, which I didn't, because he is so oh my not my type. Yeah. Oh, my he God. He is so not my type. They all thought I had a crush on him. I so did not. Like, no. We fight. We fight fight we fought so much because she had other friends and because i didn't have a great experience like the eight years before i went to high school i so i'm such a bad person for having this like it's not a quality for like having this thing like it's i hate that i have this but when I'm friends with um, a person, I don't want them to be friends with more people than me because I'm scared they're gonna leave me. Because that happened so many times. And I hate that my brain is like, no, they can be friends with them. They can help hang out with them because they they leave you. Like it's. Do you still have that? I'm working on it. It's getting better, but I still have it. And yeah. I, no, I understand, I understand. It's horrible, it's so bad, I hate myself it's for no, it. Like, it's it's oh. a scary feeling, you know? It's so horrible, I hate it. But like, with you guys I'm okay, because I'm friends with like everyone, so I'm like, it's fine, like, I, I know them. Like, because it's, I did, it's, truly, it's okay. I had no idea you felt like that. Yeah, I, I really don't, didn't. I don't, like, I never tell anyone this. Like, n no one no. well, now you do, and everyone yeah. who's watching this video knows, but, like, I've never told anyone of it. No, wait, I've told one person about this. You just have to get over it. That's what they said. You just have to get yeah, over uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Uh, that's so easy to do. They say that so quickly, but... Like James Charles, a little sprit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Going in with the uh, 27 <laughs> Glow Commotion Shiver Highlighter Eyeshadow. Okay, so this is a fun story. So, um, one time I was, uh, we were on our bikes uh, going to school because we Classic live in, Dutch. Uh, we're, we're, we're Dutch, <laughs> like no, bikes everywhere. 
<laughs> yay but so yeah we were like go we were on our bikes we were like going to school like 7 55 in the morning wait 45 45 in the morning super early i hated it and there flew a bird above us and that bird decided that my head was a good spot for him to shit on <laughs> So, the bird shit on my head. Oh, sorry. So, I went to school and I told, like, I told her and her brother, please do not tell anyone because I'm gonna get bullied about it. <laughs> Guess what happened? We were in class and I was trying to get the bird poop out of my hair and she told the whole fucking class. Hmm. So, yeah, work week was... A great and all like the the view was amazing but like the just the whole high school experience for me just sucked so the second year i did a foreign exchange i think i even had videos of it online but i deleted it and i can't find them anywhere and i hate myself because i did that it sucked because there were such great videos Aww. No, I deleted them. No, I didn't but do the exchange. I did. It was so great. I still am in contact with my Italian, like, uh, exchange students. Like, yeah, really? this summer we had dinner with them. Wait, I have a picture. Wait, 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 wait. This is the picture we took this oh summer. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I still have it. it, 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 it <laughs> That's insane, though. It was so great. But, yeah, we did an exchange um, week. Like, we went to Italy, and then the uh, people in Italy came to us. Third year sucked um, because I still was in the same class because of my own stupid decision to take um, French, uh, to take, to take um, German instead of French. And in the fourth year I still was in the same class and it got even more horrible. Even my freaking mentor bullied me. He said I was dumb because I didn't go to a higher level. Yeah, because I didn't go to a higher level. Like. He said I was dumb in front of the whole class. Okay, so the next topic is, you guessed it, bullying. Want me to go first or you? Please, you go first. Um, I can talk about it normally now, but uh, up until two years ago or three, I still would have to cry every time I mentioned it. Mm. I've been bullied uh, for the whole eight years of primary school. Um, the first five years were by someone who was three years older than me. So in the fifth year, uh, when she left um, school, I was really happy. I really was. Because it wasn't just verbal abuse. She um, went physical as well. She did? Yeah, she did. What the hell? And I wasn't the only victim. Uh, my best friend for 14 years now she has been bullied by her as well what the she had a lot of victims we also had but we had a, a boy with handicap and she even bullied him she had no remorse and i what really bitch. can't stand her she um pushed me off the bike i just had a new bike it was a lit ass bike it was gold with <laughs> purple hearts and everything i had it all but um, yeah, she twisted the seats around, um, she ripped off the bell, she poked holes in my um, tires and she, uh, we had a, what the hell? a weird playground in my street and there was this like bridge thing and I was standing on top of the bridge but then you have those lean things and I was standing on top of that and she pushed me off. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. What a bitch! See, and what's a puncher? What the hell? Yeah, that's why I really, uh, I still had to cry every time I mentioned it. But now I can talk about it normally. I've been chased down the old town. She was on a bike and I was running, so I had to go all kinds what of ways. So it was it was really intense. It wasn't just verbal. Ooh. It really was intense. And in the fifth year, she finally left. I thought, yes, finally I'm free, you know. And then my backdoor neighbor started to take it over you know fun so he chased me he threw stuff at me and he did he was more verbal and uh, physical from a distance but verbal uh, up close but i decided to just say one thing 
back to him. I can't remember what it was, but then he stopped. But that was in the third year already. Yeah. In the eighth year, but third year of him bullying me. So, but then I was finally free. I went to high school. I had uh, the first year was completely free. I had an amazing time. Sometimes you have some people who are mean to you, but that's whatever. Can't be asked. Then I went to the second year. This was a guy I've been to school with for 10 years back then. He was from my first year till my second year. We were in the same class and he just started to bully me. Um, he took my stuff. He was verbal. He wasn't really physical. Well, not at all, actually. But it was um, really playing with my mental state. You know, I, I noticed a lot of things that happened back then. And he... Um, Closed me in when I uh, tried to pass him on the bike. He took my hat, he took my um, whatever, he took my stuff a lot. And eventually, I uh, I, also, I always talk to my parents about it. They know every story from me. And that really helped me because I wasn't closed up or anything. And I could just pass it on, you know. And then I said to my parents, I'm going to his house and I'm going to say what what's bothering me I have so so <laughs> much respect for her because she did that I don't even have the balls but to like, do that yeah I had to because well I went to um, his house because he lives two streets away from me or three something like that and I went to uh, his house his brother opened up and I said well it's into his name is he home so he came and he was like, what the f are you doing here? So, um, I told him, I can't remember what I said. I was so angry and nervous. I was shaking. I had fist ball because I wanted to um, punch him. I was, re it was a scary experience. It's all a blur, but I remember it, but it's also a blur. It's really vague, so but I, I just, I can't remember what I said, but he, told me I knew I was doing something to you but I didn't know it was going this far I have so much respect for you to come up to me and say that Sorry. and I'm going to look out to uh, on what I say and I'm going to look after you uh, if anyone other than me does something to you and he held his work we are well I wouldn't say friends but we can we are on one line now. I can have amazing conversations with him. We sit together on the bus. Um, he was a model for me because I'm in hairdresser, uh, hairdressing college. So what? he was a model for me. And still to this day, he still apologizes and he still says he has respect for me. And he sent a really nice message one time. He became a great person. He's really nice nowadays. And oh, that's really nice. What the hell? Yeah, he really is. And wow. I'm so yeah, I'm really proud of myself for saying it. And it's one of my best decisions because it was going worse and worse and worse. So I thought I had to make a stop to it and I did and now he's a wonderful person who I can get along really well. So that's my best um, experience, hence why the second year was one of my favourite years of high school because I did that, you know. So yeah, but it was nine years in total <coughs> and I'm 17 right now, so I'm turning 18 on the 31st of July and that's when I finally, well that's when, not finally, that's when um, the nine years become half of my life. And I hope I can get that way lower so I'm free from bullying from now on. I really hope so. And I think that will be the case. I'm way easy with myself. I'm comfortable with myself. So when some, someone tries to come at me, I'm like, mm -hmm, ain't got no time for you, honey. <laughs> got no time for that. I got my positive life. I got my friends. I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, next. So, my story begins when in, in elementary or primary school? I think it could be both. 
it's the basketball here. Yeah, it's, it's it's mixed up, so I don't know how to say it. Okay, so let's just say it like this. I've been bullied um, for eight years. And then I went to high school. I got bullied for another four years. Then I went to the school I am now and I got bullied again for one year. This is the first bully for a year I have and I am scared it's not gonna be a bully for a year, but till this day it has been, so I'm very thankful for that. I don't, how many years are that? I've been bullied for 13 years and I'm 17. One time in high school, um, I felt so sick. I had like, I told you this like a few days ago, I yeah. think. Yeah. I had like such a bad stomach ache. It was so bad. Um, so I was like, they were chatting in the group chat and I got a message and I, stupid me, I clicked on a message with I, which I just like, I, I didn't see it for some reason, like I clicked on it, but I wasn't going through my mind like, okay, I'm in a different chat now. I thought I was still chatting with one girl, which I wasn't. I was chatting with my whole group chat. And then I told them that my aunts and my mom told me that my stomach ache probably was because I had menstrual cramps, which wasn't the case. I would just had a bad uh, stomach ache. I had something, I probably ate something with gluten, so I got sick. Mm. But I told that in my group chats. So then everyone started laughing and I was like, this is the wrong chat. I was horrified. Then they thought it would be a fun idea to take a screenshot of the chat and put it as the profile picture of the group chat for two months straight. I changed the profile, profile picture so many times, but they kept changing it back. And when I was at school, they were like, Oh my god, I can see the blood dripping down her legs. Oh my god, do you see the blood? Oh, she has, she's on her period. They were so cruel to me. I was devastated. I was so incredibly humiliated. It was so bad. They even went. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something different. I've never done a get ready with me before. Never. So, yeah. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet because, well, duh, I'm cool. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. If you want to subscribe, okay. you can. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you want to, you can also click the bell. So, maybe do that so you get notified whenever I upload. Yeah. So, yeah, then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Wanna do the outro with me? Um, you gotta help me. <laughs> you watch all of it! I watch all of this, but I don't know! It's by my little fishies. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah? You ready? It. Yes, okay. okay. Bye, my little fishies! <laughs>